guys, and welcome to the Virtual Reality Dating Show. I'm your host, Fia, and today I will be escorting three separate couples on a completely blind virtual date together inside VR chat. These couples put in their applications on a questionnaire that I meticulously crafted to find them a perfect match. We'll be getting to know each contestant through this journey today, and by the end of the date, we'll be asking them the big question. Will they go on a second date? Find out what happens when love is left to the metaverse in this special episode of the Virtual Reality Show. Cue the clips. My name is Ilyamna. I'm 22, and I'm from Utah. Uh, my name is Grimecraft. I'm 31, and I'm from the U.S. I've been on VR chat for about almost two years now, or about a year and a half, yeah. Uh, I first dove in here years ago before it was anything like this, but I, I would say my first uh, modern VR chat experience was in December of last year, uh, attending a club called Shelter, which my friend Junto Disco made. Oh, didn't see you there. Hello. Really? I know you. <laughs> what up? This isn't weird, right? Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe a what little do you, bit. What brings you to the void today? <laughs> oh, you know. Just uh, got invited here randomly. All right, Ellie, what are we doing in the club with no um, DJ playing? Are you DJing now? Well, I was, no, I was filling in for the last janitor that was here. So you don't really look like you have non slip shoes. So watch out. Yeah. Yeah. Is the floor still wet? It looks kind of wet over here, especially. Yeah. Yeah. I hope this isn't awkward because we knew each other. Sure. I can just start asking really weird questions. Do you prefer fresh water or salt water? Um, I think salt water, but I'm also like low key afraid of the ocean. You know, like when you're you're in the ocean and then something touches your leg and you don't know what it was and you just like freak out a bit. Like that, I've consistently so had that mystery. Period. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. I, I love like just going into like I love like walking in the dark just because I love like the kind of like the um, adrenaline of mystery. I'm just like, oh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Interesting. So um, you know, it's it's almost like a parallel to this situation of <laughs> we both kind of like entered yeah. it walking into the dark and. I mean, I, I I was super nervous. I was like anxious about it when when Fia messaged me. I was like, "Oh God, this is happening!" Actually, <laughs> um, I'm super nervous. Uh, I haven't really been on a date in like two years or something. Um, obviously, with COVID last year, like I feel like a lot of people are kind of in that situation. Worst comes to worst, I'll end up with a new friend. Um, <laughs> I, you know, it, it, I hope it'll just be casual and cool, and we'll hit it off and have some laughs and you know, kind of take it from there. I have no expectations, really. Uh, I, th I get nervous about this stuff. I think that's just a natural thing when this type of situation happens. I think everybody gets a little nervous. No, I was going to, I was going to ask you like, what, what's your ideal day job? And I was like, Oh, well that would obviously be doing music. I'm an artist. So, but, yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, I love music. I love video games. Um, I love my cat. I don't know if a cat is a hobby, but it kind of is like a lifestyle. <laughs> um, yeah, it's stuff like that, technology, computer stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm a textbook nerd, I would say. <laughs> I definitely feel like tonight is a stay up all night and go to a ghost club kind of night. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So yeah, let, let's, let's make sure that happens. I'll hold you accountable. Be like, we're going. 7 a.m. or whatever. <laughs> You're holding me accountable? I'll hold you accountable. Uh, okay, deal. <laughs> that sounds better. People, I, I'm... people fall asleep on me. My name is Lisa Famstar. Uh, I'm 28 years old and I'm from England. All right, and how long have you been using VR chat for? Almost four years. Um, I'm Jessica. I'm 23 years young and I'm from Belgium. The country of chocolate. Like you would spend time in like any social game to like meet people from across the world and it's always like interesting because people are very different, have different experiences so you can learn from that. And in VR you have the like body language which you don't have in a chat room or something. 
which is the primary reason I come back to VRChat all the time, because I express myself through my body. Well, hello, I'm Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, my fellow traveler. <laughs> oh, you want to I speak? am. All right. Yes, yes. I am D Jessica. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Are you are you streaming? I recognize your name. Have we met before? Ah, uh, we have met before at a wedding, I think, a year ago. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that would have been a long time ago, more than a year. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying not to make this awkward, like. Awkward, yes, I'm I know. I'm thinking the yeah. same stuff. Nervous because I don't think I'm too good at social interaction when it's just two people, but excited to meet, uh, you know, someone who's possibly fun. Very nervous because I've never done something like this before. One of my friends told me to uh, sign up, you know, I'm like, oh, that's different. That's new. That's exciting. Sure. But still nervous. I assume you're a little nervous as well. I can see you bouncing up and down. Oh, I always bounce. It's not my nervousness. I'm a bouncy person. Oh. So do you do, you do anything in VR chat? You do like world Be myself avatars. and entertain people. Getting that's hated on by some, being loved by others. <laughs> you know, that's how it goes. <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> the hated on part. Maybe not the loved by part. I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm a very, I can be a very sarcastic person. I think I'm very forward. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I, I won't hold much back if, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll normally, I'll say, I'll say a lot of stuff without, without thinking of it or uh, thinking about what I say. So, um, I think that's important. People know that. <laughs> And a lot of people, a lot of people take what I say so easily as the truth. And I'm just like, oh, oh yes. no. And then all of a sudden like, it's like, loose fam star, what an asshole. One of my friends was like, hey Jessica, how, how is Second Life going? I'm, oh, I'm having fun. And he's like, there's a lot of dominance in VR chat. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to go on VR chat. <laughs> That's why I started. Actually, I played Second Life for like six months, but that was in 20, 2015. I met someone from the UK. I actually dated her for like three years from Second Life. Uh, that didn't work out in the end, but that's around about the time when I joined VR Chat straight after that. So mm -hmm. it was a good move over. Yeah, you were like the third person I met in VR Chat. Oh, wow. I feel so honored. I like... <laughs> yeah, I like came to that. New Year's show. Yeah, we threw our own impromptu party. Yeah, Every, in the uh, other instance. <laughs> and it became the main party, which was awesome. That was, yeah, that was so fun. Yeah, there, that was super exciting. It felt like a real, like, good start of this new year, like, meeting all these new people and, like, being a part of this community and, and like, yeah. also just, like, learning how talented and creative, like, everyone here is and and how inspiring that has been to me, like, you know, it's been like 28 days or whatever mm -hmm. since then. And I've like made like nine avatars and started building some worlds and have my first show tonight, which you know about. Yeah, <laughs> I made an avatar for it. Kind of. Oh, you did? I, Wait, I'll show it one. off. Let's Not see. Now. It. I told you no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw awesome. it on. I'm excited. I'm excited. At the thing. Yeah. And with COVID and everything that's happened, I'm kind of like, gearing back towards creating virtual events and, and kind of like, you know, building out the musical metaverse, which, you know, is clearly well and alive here. <laughs> What's your relationship? I with like music, music too. <laughs> <laughs> I maintain 100% eye contact during every single first date I've ever had. Yeah. You do the staring <laughs> contest? Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to blink. lose. Yeah. I don't, think, so. I don't, I don't think, think yours it's... blink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've always been like hyper independent. I don't need anyone to make me feel motivated or anything. What are your most <laughs> ideal traits in your part in your partner? In, in your most ideal future partner? Like they need to have some kind of like internal motivation to to like do something cool, something that keeps them up at night, something that keeps them ticking. Because that inspires me. Right. Um, like having so, some type of life aspiration. 
Yeah. I mean, yeah. Or some just like passion for something like, you know, writing or, or, you know, botany. Setting or fire whatever. to churches. Yeah. Setting fire to churches. You know, crashing How the stock you? market. Crushing the stock market, yeah, buying all the all the Dogecoin. I'm a wildlife ecologist, so I love being out in nature, and I just nerd over, like, biology stuff. <laughs> and I just have probably just a outrageous sense of humor a lot of the times. I'm sure a lot of people will agree with that with me. You, yeah, you mentioned Jordan a lot of good style. things. Excellent <laughs> choice of verbiage and adjective. Can you show me how uh, well you know the Toontown Victory Dance, please? Oh my God! <laughs> um, wait, that's uh, <laughs> do I remember it? It's like that, that right? <laughs> it's something like that. Yeah. So, what also <laughs> is important in your partner is how well they can do their mating dance. And that's, you know, you that's did not great. my mating dance. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my mating dance would be like, like a shitty Fortnite dance or like or flossing or oh, something. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> you're I don't know. I, I just down. <laughs> damn it. That's an Adam Sandler song. <laughs> <laughs> you know, remember when he used to release like rap albums? Or like oh, comedy rap so. albums? Those were so yeah, cursed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this really straight up is a World War II bomber. I wonder if it's to scale. This is huge. What if we kissed on top of a World War II bomber, JK? Almost. <laughs> Sick meme. <laughs> so I got into VR chat and played as a Miko, and I would just go to the pug, grabbing a pillow in desktop and like waving it in front of people. Like, hey, play fetch <laughs> with me. And some people would understand that and we would play fetch and it was fun. You know what? What do you want in a partner? What kind of what kind of thing are you looking for? I don't believe in an ideal partner, as in like um like a checklist type of thing. Uh, cause I used to do that, but it feels so flawed. Cause when you meet a person, it's likely someone you wouldn't even think of that you would like hit it off with. You know, nothing really specifically. Um, I'm more looking for like um. Like, you, you never know uh, who your partner is going to be in life, right? Like, it could be a person mm -hmm. you, that's completely the opposite of you. A lot of people think you need to have similarities or whatever. But it's like a misconception. I think that's the correct word. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. I, I'm like, the one thing I'm seeking in a person is just someone I can connect with. Like, like romantically, uh, emotionally. Uh, spiritually, mentally, etc. You know, all all those little things. Yeah, it's uh, I think you explained it quite well. Like, it might be different for everyone, but I think it's really just the experience. But what you mentioned was kind of on point with what people are really looking for, or at least, well, you know, the kind of thing that I'm looking for as well at the same time. So, your first yeah. relationship is always going to be not the one, right? Because you don't have the experience to like go off of. You'd be very lucky um, if it was. <laughs> oh yeah, that's like that's like winning the lottery. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, are all these ducks watching me talk to this person? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. It's too many ducks. It's like every little movement's <laughs> distracting. You want a piece of bread? Can I feed you? Do you have a duck avatar? <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually. Well, actually, no, it's a chicken, but. <laughs> things that are important to me like self-improvement i try to self-improve on things on a daily basis since i was 12 i decided to do that uh which can just be anything like a new experience uh learning a personality flaw or behavioral problem and then fixing it or just learning anything that's how i perceive what self-improvement is and that way you always encounter something new but um a lot of people perceive it as me like going out of my way forcing self-improvement which is not what i do but that's what people assume so is there anything in your life that has been like uh, you know made you who you are now yes all the negative experiences i've been through because that's what negative experiences do you know that's the that's the character development 
it's yeah. like it's like an anime you know they oh no some problem and then they solve it and then they learn something out of it and become better but if a negative thing happens you want to get away from that so you know you'll do whatever it takes you know you'll build away from that yeah but but yeah. that, trying to get away from negativity is like uh running away from a challenge you overcome the challenge but people tend to running away and delaying it's it's like studying for a test like oh i'll do it tomorrow you know and then oh crap it is tomorrow yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any do you have a job do you do you work at all uh no no my government says uh i'm too silly because of autism so they're like no That's, no no work yeah. for you no 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 <laughs> studying it's like okay a, guess, guess i'll it's just a bit sit silly here. Them, but you know if it's working out for you that's fine so yeah hey i'll just try and entertain people like model stuff i try to do that too com complex for my kitten brain like all i do is uh talk to people with my unique as people say point of view on things in life or whatever uh and try and advise people if people need advice and then just try and entertain people uh my name is zelish i am 26 and i am from st louis missouri uh, so I actually got mine back in December. Uh, I think it was on the 19th. I ordered the uh, the Valve Index. Well, uh, screen name Hermit, real name Patrick. I'm 24. Sometimes it's hard to remember that. And I'm from Dallas, Texas. I've been using VR Chat since I started VR. I'm not a like a constant user. I pop in and out for events. I actually mostly use Neos. Um, but I've been in VR for about three and a half years now. Um, it's a it's a nice release and it's a it's a nice change from playing your you know your typical everyday game. I've never been on a blind date before and I'm still relatively new to VR, so it's kind of a a little bit of a mixture of both. <laughs> so your name's Zelish. I got all my name tags turned off so that I don't see the invisible ones. Yeah, I don't see yours, so I have no idea what your name is. But yes, my name is Zelish. My name's Hermit. I like your shirt. Nice to meet it's you. Nice. We got we both got Thank patches, you. huh? Yeah, yeah. Those I guess that's neat. the theme. Yeah. I, I see what V is up to here. I see what's good. I try to make my model look as much like me as possible. So I'm not anime, but this is an outfit that I do wear pretty consistently. I'll, this is a, a jacket that I own in real life. So I've got all the patches on there that I actually have, except for the back patch is way larger than it really is. That's awesome. <laughs> now, I, uh, I really, I ran up my Fiverr person hard. I found somebody on Fiverr making Vroid avatars. I'm like, can you can you do this for me? How much more would it cost? I have plenty of money. And they're like, oh, no, I'll do it for free. I'm like, you don't want to do this for free, are you sure? Because I'm going to oh, keep on asking you things until free? it's perfect. Well, no, so I took pictures of them, and then I edited them in Photoshop so that they'd be flat, and there's less texture. And then they took oh. it, and then they put it on the jacket. It was oh, crazy. Nice. Where about are you from? Uh, I actually live in Missouri. St. Louis. Missouri. St. Louis. I've been to St. Louis a couple times. My family drives through there on the way to Tennessee because my grandpa had a ranch up in Tennessee. But I live in Dallas. I'm from Texas. Oh, so I saw that it said Zealous Spotify and Zealous Music, right? So I actually build radio tower cabinets for cell phone service. Um, I do like to make music. Uh, I also paintball a lot. And um, pretty much it, I think. You have mm -hmm. a Spotify? Yeah, that's me. You make music? I do. Yeah, it's nothing like Proto over here. Uh, it's more chill, wow. down-tempo kind of music. This is a lovely diner. This looks kind of like that, uh... It reminds me of the Steak The live home world. It, it is kind of like a Steak and Shake up in here, huh? So, do you prefer being, like, the dominant person in the relationship, like, personality-wise? Like, do you like being the leader, or do you like being the... Okay, no. so you're the follower. I'm definitely not the alpha i'm like super beta but I, I definitely like you know in terms of like taking the initiative i'm terrible at that like i always need people in my life to like guide me and like uh <laughs> help me do anything <laughs> really i mean some people have this goal of like marriage and stuff i don't know if that's exactly for me it's kind of like an antiquated idea but like um like, I don't know what, what an end goal is. The important thing to me is, like, being having happy moments and, and being with somebody that brings out the best in you. you know, marriage is it's supposed to be for life, right? So. Oh, okay. I see your perspective now. Yeah. So, you know, when it's not for life, it just hurts people. And, you know, as somebody right. who's been deeply, deeply hurt by 
my parents splitting up when I was, you know, in a very developmental age of three years old, like, and the effect that had on me as a person, <laughs> um, I don't want to yeah. do that to anybody, but at the same time, like I, I'm not somebody who like really wants children or, or whatever, I, at least like, that's not something mm-hmm. I can think of right now as a smart decision. <laughs> like, um, well, I'm glad you can recognize that. And you're just like, it, you know? <laughs> yeah. a lot of people do free ball it. And then they have a kid and they're like, and I don't have money for this kid. And it's like, why did you do that? How did it go? Uh, it was an enjoyable, humorous experience. I think they are a very creative individual with a good sense of humor, and I appreciate that. It was a little awkward at first, just because I've met Illy and like we're friends. <laughs> so, you know, when you, when you're set up on a blind date and it ends up being your friend, uh, I don't think I usually have. <laughs> but uh, that was cool. You know, I've um, wanted to get to know her a little better. Uh, so I think that was a good opportunity to do so. And, and uh, I always thought she was pretty cool. So going on a date with her ain't the worst thing. <laughs> uh, she's really cool. Um, she's really funny. Uh, you know, I love her like kind of morbid dark humor thing she's got going. Um, we, we've like hung out a bit with our friend group and like memed around on, on VR chat a bunch. Um, she actually does a lot of recording of the content and splicing together videos for Twitter and stuff. So uh, she's an important part of of my VR chat experience in general. So I like when someone can play along with my bad jokes. So that makes it easier for me to talk to somebody. I liked that uh, we got to like be real um, on the second half and like talk about you know our, our past experiences and and like kind of like what we're looking for in people and um, <clears throat> the kind of things we value. Um, and we're able to fa- find like common ground uh, for those sorts of things. I definitely say that at least to like the general amount of people, like I think everybody should be really cautious with online dating and especially stuff over VR. That's like um, people are more connected to like, sensorily where they can feel more of a bond to people when they should be also be like extra careful about like who they're getting to know on here there's a lot more to to somebody than their voice um and how they move their arms and how they move their head and even how they behave online like it it can be very different in person so how did it go uh I mean, it, you know, feeling awkward for the first like bit was something I didn't like. But, you know, as soon as we got over that and, and uh, over the camera, it's like, uh, you know, it, it became a little more natural. And here's a big question. Do you think that they like you? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I have the worst radar for that sort of thing. Let me tell you, like, I have like a insane history of, of, of not knowing when, when people like me. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I think, I, I mean, I, I don't know about like romantically if she likes me. I, I definitely think she likes me as a person, but, um. Then the big question is, will you guys be going on a second date? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd do it again, you know. I think, uh. Yeah. I, we, I like we, talking to getting to know people on top of World War II fighting. Oh my god, you're about to freak it out. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> you're like chittering insanely like you're on a like a massage chair. Yeah, that that's my actual answer to to this. Just <laughs> glitching out. Someone wants to go on a date with me? <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, Finally, oh, I've been waiting oh, 67 fucking years. 67 <laughs> whole years. So, so, have you ever you dated do. in VR chat before? You know, I haven't. It, it, I've I've been in VR for three and a half years, and when I when I first got in VR, I played a lot of VR chat, like everyone does when they first get in. Um, but I I met a couple of people who I was interested in, but they actually ended up finding other people before i ended up talking to them so i just sort of you know kept on doing me uh like i said never been on a blind date before so i don't know what to really expect i'm relatively new to this so i mean you're a month and a half in so 
you know, yeah, be a real catch. <laughs> Somebody just snags you up real quick. <laughs> Right, one of my friends wanted to get a mask for me that says, like, I don't cough, I'm just a smoker. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you smoke? Um, I, I used to smoke a lot. Um, like, cigarettes. I smoked cigarettes from the age of 12 to about 19. Um, and then I took up vaping. And, and then I quit yep. vaping for a little while. Now I still vape. But Hey, me too. Yeah, yeah I haven't touched right. a cigarette Cigar- in almost six years. Thank God, man. Cigarettes are... The worst. We should record an anti cigarette really commercial hard. VR. Whichever one of you is via, make sure to put that one down. I put make a PSA one of these days. Yeah, the no smoking. It's bad. Don't smoke. <laughs> Don't smoke. It's bad. <laughs> It'll be like if you do smoke, you'll turn into one of these and then just put up one of the brushy avatars. Do you want to be a brushy? <laughs> yeah, Don't the smoke. Josh Gump. <laughs> wow. How do you get in there? Oh, the mayo beam. Jesus, that's terrifying. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> I feel like this might be for the end of the date. What are you looking for in a partner since you live in Missouri and I live in Texas? Primarily VR, um, I'd assume. As long as you're accepting um, and, you know, outgoing and wanting to do things. And, I mean, I, I'm not really, I, don't, I guess I really don't have a, a list of recommendations or, you know, specific things that I look for. It's just as if you're a genuine person and... I don't know, you're fun again. Okay. Well, so oh, and you can um, cook spaghetti, you know, I, so that's that's pretty good. Right, that always helps. <laughs> spaghetti. Hell yeah. Every single time. Um, but I was I was wondering, are you are you bi? Are you pan? Are you completely gay? I'm bi. Okay. I'm I'm pan. Uh it took me a while to recognize that. Uh what is pan well, exactly? Um, it's basically just the the entire spectrum. As far as I understand it, because everyone's got their own definition, there's apparently a, like a big old fight about it. But I think that pan just basically includes all genders, including trans people and non-binary people. Okay. Which that I only ever sense. really understood or accepted until I, I had dated a, a female-to-male trans person. And it was it was just really interesting. I don't know, I feel like that was this probably my longest quote unquote relationship with with a man because I had mostly you know, like many bi slash pan young men, I had spent most of my time with other men in very quick fling because kind of the scene. <laughs> um mm-hmm. and so I, I'd never really had a long term relationship with a masculine person up until that point. I'm kinda I'm kinda on the feminine side. Um Although I am kind of loud and obnoxious. <laughs> um, also very shy, so obviously I'm single for a reason. <laughs> but, uh, well, mostly uh, my longest relationship was five years. Um, and when I was out of state, she was unfaithful, so that didn't go too well. <laughs> I've never really oh, had a real relationship with uh, the same gender. Um I did date somebody in Fantasy Star that didn't end up well. Uh, it was only for a couple of months, but it kind of helped me realize on what I actually, I guess, am. Um, because I used to be pretty masculine and all that good stuff, but, you know, I'd, I'd always been told that I was a little bit on the more femme side anyways. Um, so I kind of just started embracing it, and it's been, I feel yeah. a lot healthy and uh, more open, I guess. You want to go in this room? The couch scene. There we go. Every every good video has a couch scene. <laughs> <laughs> Depends what video you're talking about. <laughs> so what do you do besides like world making or things like that? Um, aside from world making and playing games, I guess I literally that's literally all I do for hobbies. So I always feel bad when I say that because it's like. What a loser, you know, I don't do oh. any sports or anything. <laughs> uh, uh, my job is I help mentally ill and disabled people find employment with suitable employers. But uh, aside from doing all that, my work is uh, I help mentally ill and disabled people find employment. That's what I do, so... Oh, hey, maybe uh, you can help me it's... find employment. I'm disabled, I've <laughs> <laughs> So... I... Actually, so I have it as well, and that's actually how I got the job and found it, because I was asking for help. Oh. I was like, 
Uh, normally it only it's only the interview process that I really struggle with because I get you know really nervous. But um, yeah, so I was like, "Hey, can you help us with this?" And they're like, "We're looking for someone." I was like, "Oh, I can do that." <laughs> so uh, I started helping a lot of people out that way, and uh, I think a lot of people, a lot of people are actually surprised at that when they get to know me on this game because I don't give off any of those. I don't think I give every any of those like professional vibes or helping vibes in that way <laughs> anyway yeah that's what i do outside of your chat <laughs> i just tell help people find employment and talk to employees all that kind of thing <laughs> i i spend a lot of time with, with the worst people ever you can imagine <laughs> uh my, my block list is like over ten thousand people from like the last uh, eight years of interacting with people um God. I'm not gonna go into uh, the types of people, because I don't think that's mm -hmm. okay to mention in the video. <laughs> uh, but mm -hmm. like, I really meet the worst type of people. I'm like, it's it's like a gift, you know? It's like it's like meeting meeting like the evil Santa instead of the good Santa. <laughs> yeah, uh, I thought it went quite well. It wasn't awkward like I thought it was. Um, the they talked a lot, so that was that was a positive, you know, they could hold a conversation. But yeah, I thought overall it went quite well. And they were really nice. Uh definitely had a, a lot of opinions. Um again the conversations uh they could hold they could hold a conversation and they seemed to they seem to understand it or at least have similarities in in the ways that we tend to socialize, which is always good. What did you not like about the date? Was there anything? I guess it's hard to keep something going for that long. <laughs> yeah. there, was a, there was a few moments where I was like, I don't know what to talk about. So, you know, I'd, I'd ask a question and stuff and it would feel like it had came out of, like, nowhere. How did it go? I was overthinking how this would go, like how it would work. Uh, you know, VR chat, lots of drama, lots of silly people trying to ruin the fun from all the good people. So it's like, a lot of people have talked smack about him before that I've overheard, you know, but I keep an open mind. Uh, so, yeah, I'm very surprised in like a good way. Uh, I think, I think they like me. I'm not sure exactly which way they like me, but... Romantically, um, perhaps? I think maybe, uh... Or just friendly, you never know, so... <laughs> um, just very chill if you ignore the nervousness, right? <laughs> just very enjoyable experience. I don't know uh, if they like me or not. They seem pretty chill. So, you know, that's the type of people I'm trying to look for to begin with. Good vibes. I, th I think if there was a second date, it would probably be a, a lot more slowed down and more, more relaxed. So I guess the big question is then, would you guys want to go on a second date? Um, I would, yeah. Uh, I don't know about I you, too. but... <laughs> I would too. If, if I, I was saying, if you wanted to have a second date, I would... <laughs> sure. Yeah. It would be nice to get to know each other more in a relaxed pace than, We're just than no right now, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How far can we go? I feel like the invisible walls are pretty immediate. Everything is so dark. He's luring me out to a dark alley. I'm glad you guys are here. <laughs> stab, stab, stab. Isn't this... Stab. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops. Cosmos tracking. Oh, he Cosmos died. tracking. Oh, he died. Oh God! <laughs> All I can see is your eyes. I think it went pretty well. You know, it's my my first virtual date, so I don't really have much else to base it off of. But but I feel like that that didn't go poorly at all. So what did you think about the other person? Oh, I I thought it was pretty great. He was a a lot of fun to talk to. He reminds me of a lot of my friends, and so. I know. I I think it was pretty cool. I wish I wish I had trackers too, so that I could sit down properly. You know, mostly just technology problems. Just trying to get used to 
talking with people casually in VR because it's not something I don't do a ton of social VR. So it's weird to stay standing for long periods of time. Do you think that the other person likes you? I I I hope so. You know, I feel like I might have talked a lot because I I tend to talk a lot whenever. I get nervous. I I talk over other people all the time, and so I hope I didn't too much didn't do too much of that. But it seems like he was cool with me. I like to hang out with them, you know, a bit more often, probably as a friend, and you know, talk with them a, a little bit more and see how I feel about it. Because you know, I uh, you know, I, I've I've dated other men, but it's not always like that immediate romantic connection. We generally need to make it as friends first, and then move from there. Do you guys want to go on a second date? I'm down, yeah, I think you know. So. I, I'd like to know you more as a friend. We can hang out, learn yeah, about each other a little bit more. Yeah, sounds that great. That would be a good idea. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit excited there, Tiger. No. <laughs> <laughs> what a crazy experience this has been. I love seeing love blossom from across the globe and seeing what fairy tale stories can be told from inside our digital universe. It's really been an adventure today. So if you enjoyed getting to know our lovely couples, then like this video and subscribe to the Virtual Reality Show channel for more episodes of the Virtual Reality Dating Show in the future. I will be opening up more applications for episode two in the near future. So please make sure to follow my Twitter account to be notified of when the next applications are open. Join my Patreon page to help support the show and hop over to my Twitch to hang out with me and discuss the future of virtual love together. Anyways, I've been your host, Fia, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Special thanks to this month's Patreon members and virtual VIPs, Dutech, Flukule, Scormaller, and Top Waffle. So there's a Spanish magician, and he says, <laughs> on the count of three, <laughs> I'm going to make myself disappear. And then he starts counting. He says, uno, dos, and then he disappears without a trace. <laughs> <laughs>